Welcome to AMI Stacks deployment for Laravel 10 on Amazon AWS. To deploy Laravel, you can use our main site, or directly from Amazon AWS Marketplace. We will then start by getting the usage instructions from AWS Marketplace. Copying the usage information to a text editor is suggested for easy reference. Make sure you review the listing terms, pricing, and ask all questions before you deploy. We recommend using a seller-suggested AWS security group for initial deployment. You can expect about a 7-minute deployment. Wait for initialization to complete, and take the time to name your instance and assign an IP address. Here we created and assigned our public Elastic IP address to our Laravel EC2. Now we will add our public Elastic IP address to the usage instructions we saved earlier on Notepad. Make sure port 8080 is open, and accept the certificate warning. You will see the HTML usage instructions, and we will also confirm the main application. In our demo, we use WinSCP to connect to our EC2. We will need to create two basic monitoring jobs. We will require the AWS CloudWatch agent, and will make use of our helper script for installation. First copy it to the Ubuntu home directory, and grant it executable permissions. Run it from command line, and wait for the EC2 to reboot. Register for A51, and access the main dashboard to see your newly deployed instance. Note, new accounts must wait 24 to 48 hours prior to registration. A51 is only a limited user interface to your AWS console, and you are responsible for all costs associated with your AWS account. Should you require technical assistance, please make use of our Q&A bot accessible from the A51 dashboard and main website. Configuring basic monitoring is a snap. First, attach the CloudWatch policy to the instance. With our Laravel EC2 selected, we will click Health Check. Name it, and point to an HTTP ping path. Click Create Alarm. Check. Send notification to SMS. Configure the trigger thresholds, and perhaps rename the alarm something meaningful. After you click Save, the alarm section will show your new alarm in an orange, pending, status. In a few seconds, the status should turn to green. If status does not turn to green, it is suggested that you reboot your EC2. Notice the desktop alert set the health check as in service, and refreshing the dashboard changed the status from pending to available. Setting up an automated EC2 and RDS backup is easy with the backup scheduler. Notice the alert status changed to green after our reboot of the EC2.